Hey there everybody, I know it's been a little while since I have posted on YouTube regarding the display, uh, so here I am trying to figure out this editing software and piecing together something that looks presentable. Uh, so we'll just get right into it. This short little clip is just me explaining uh, a small pro you know, a small thing in the process of how to prep this display to get all the new stuff put on it. Um, in this particular clip, I had just removed the rear film and it was it was it was bad. It was all sunburnt and whatnot. So I removed the film and what's left behind is me cleaning the glue off. And I tell you it's some pretty harsh stuff. I'm surprised I didn't get lightheaded while I was removing it, but it's it's some pretty foul smelling glue. And it is very tough to get off. I had to use several paper towels using isopropyl alcohol. And uh, it each side takes a little while to get every little speck of glue off. Um, also a razor blade. I was using a razor blade to lightly scrape the glue off with. And I was using the alcohol as kind of like a lubricant to keep the razor blade from scratching the, the glass. So... Anyway, here it is, and just sit back and enjoy. So here we have this display. Uh, I just got done. Uh, so there's three layers to this thing. On the front, you have the polarization film. I took it off, took all the glue off. On the back, there's like a silver aluminum layer I guess it's aluminum but it almost looks like that aluminum uh, duct tape that you would use for you know for air conditioning ducts to seal them tight and then I, underneath that is another layer of polarization film I just got done peeling that off that's it right there and what you see on it right now is glue so I'm just gonna get some isopropyl alcohol and start cleaning that off. Alright, so after about I don't know, a week or two, two weeks probably, uh, I think I have everything I need to start putting this display back together. Uh, here it is by itself. That's all it is. And before I put it all back together, I am going to run some isopropyl alcohol with a paper towel back over it just to clean any smudges and stuff. But, uh, so this is it right here. I went and ordered some polarization film. It came in one sheet. I think it was about $12 on Amazon. Uh whether it's the right stuff or not, I won't be able to tell you until it's put back in. This is the sheet. These are the two uh, slides that I cut. One for each side. See, it'll fit on there like so. And I did use a uh, straight, straight cutting board. The only problem is, is I ordered these through Amazon and I tried to look there's when I ordered these there's no adhesive that was on this film so yes there's a protective layer on front and back you have to peel both of those off to get to the actual film itself so whenever I ran into that problem I was like well I'll just use some double-sided tape well there's no double-sided tape that's wide enough that at least I mean that's thin enough from what I can tell because the glue that came off was really really thin and there's a lot of double-sided tape out there but it's really thick stuff so uh, I got to looking again and I came across some of these double-sided adhesive they're basically paper size right here they're double-sided so what I'm going to do is I will peel one side off of this, one side off of this, 
and very carefully place the exposed side onto the adhesive film of this. I'm going to use a credit card or maybe just something real, real soft that's rigid. It's got to be rigid to get all the air bubbles out as you stick this on this adhesive side. Once it's stuck on and I'm happy that there's no air bubbles in it, I'm going to come over to this and I'm going to cut all the edges off. Maybe even use those scissors to touch some stuff up. So essentially what you'll have is you will have put an adhesive side on one side of this polarized film. Once you do that, I'm going to take it and I'm going to stick it on this display, again, using a credit card or uh, a squeegee of some sort to smooth over it as I'm laying it down to keep any air bubbles from forming inside. All right, everybody. So, uh, I don't know, just to do this one side probably took me 45 minutes to an hour, maybe. But uh, it's not... Uh, it's not a hundred percent crystal clear, but I feel like it's pretty good. This is just one side, just the back side of it. But I'll let you look at it in the light. I mean, for for what it is, I have a feeling it'll still bring this display back to life. So, and I'll just explain one more time what I had done just briefly. So I had this film, no adhesive on either side, took it and stuck it on this adhesive sheet and then cut around the edges. That way I have a adhesive side to this film, took that, put it on the glass. And then once I flattened that out and made it look all nice, I just took some um, some HVAC or AC ducting tape, like that aluminum. It's it's aluminum tape. I'm gonna take a quick pause here and just say that I um I know this is probably a little slow, and I know it's a long video. Uh, for those of you who are still watching. Thank you. Uh, I really appreciate it. However, I know this method might seem kind of out there, but uh, just so you know, I mean, this does work. Toward the end of the video, uh, there's some footage of it working. It does everything it needs to do. It's just that there's a, it's not vibrant. Like the, the, the black, le uh, the black numbers aren't very vibrant and they're, they're almost kind of, they're not faded. You could see them, but you can only see them in different angles, per se. It's it's kind of weird. Uh, just keep watching, and just or just if you want, just fast forward to the end, and you'll see it working at the end. And I just stuck it on there. This is this is pretty much what it looked like when it came off. This is exactly what it looked like when it came off. It had a silver back, just like this. I peeled this off. And then I found out there's another film underneath it, and I peeled that off. So, I said, yeah, I mean, there's a few blemishes and flaws in there, but I'm not an expert. I mean, I'm just trying to do this on a budget. Of course, I'll let y'all be the judge. Uh, and it, this may not work. You know, I might have done something to harm the glass. I think there's some gas inside, or there's something in there. Uh, if you, or I don't know, I mean, if it does work, cool, I'm probably, uh, four or five man hours into this, so, let's see, the, the tape was about 13, that roll of tape was $13, of course, I came across a smaller roll at another store after I had bought that for like eight dollars which would have been nice but I mean that's well that'll be good forever the I got three 
three adhesive sheets. I think that was like nine dollars on Amazon, and the most expensive, not including the tape, the most expensive thing was the film. The film was about twelve ninety nine for one sheet, and it was almost half the size of one of these over here. So, five hours into it, maybe six, including the disassembly of the jet ski to take it out. And what, let's see, there's 13, 9, know, $25, $30 later. So, anyway, time to stick on the next, next film, the front. And I think once I stick the front on, it's done. I just need to put it back in this little case and put it all back together. I got this thing put back together sort of I hadn't sealed it yet or anything like that all I did was just uh, screw the display back in and I went on ahead and plugged it back in to the ski so I got good news and bad news the good news is is that it still works and it is you definitely can read it like it's it's clear however the bad news is maybe the polarized film or it's got to be the film that polarizes the light at different angles i guess that's what it does but anyway it's like one angle you could read it just fine and then like straight on it's hardly visible but off to the side it's super visible but in all honesty, I, it, it could be like that. I do not care. I mean, for my application, I do not care what, as long as I can just read the fuel gauge on it. That's all that I cared about for my application. Um, you can still read the speed and all that. That's no big deal to watch. I'm going to go ahead and show this for you here. Let's see. So you could see, I mean, it, it's clear, like I could see, look, there's the fuel gauge. Before, I couldn't see the fuel at all, it was just a big blob. So it's definitely clear, but you could see how at different angles it disappears and comes back and disappears. So it's a success, but not a 100% success, if, if, that's what, if that's what you want to call it. I mean, to me, it's better than it was. And that's all that matters. And to be completely honest, I got this jet ski for free. All I needed to do was do some minor things to it, and it fires right up. It's no big. And, and I've actually taken it out on the water, and I've gotten it up to about 60 miles an hour. So, for a free jet ski, and for a little bit of time and effort put into this, you know, that's all that I care about. I. This is the ceiling of the display. Um, for the record, I'm doing this like months later. Uh, I know the last videos were more toward the beginning of this year, but I don't know. And then I just decided, hey, one night I need to get this thing sealed up. So that's what I'm doing tonight because I'm ready to get the ski back together and hopefully at some point get it back in the water. So, anyway, I'm taking care of this tonight. So, all I did was I went and I bought some, some just some 100% waterproof silicone. You, you know, use around windows, and I think, you know, you could use it in your bathtubs and stuff, and I just got some of that. I'm um, supposed to rubber, rubber up real good, seal. And uh, so, I just took it, and I ran a bead all the way around this edge here. So, and then what I'm going to do, I also bought me some big old clamps. And uh, these clamps are really, really big. Um, I bought them this big just because for any type of future projects or whatever, um, I didn't want these to be just like a one, one purpose used uh, uh, item, I guess you could say. So, I went on ahead and got some big ones. And I'm just going to use these, and I'm just going to put a clamp on each side and clamp it together, hold it together overnight, and uh, hopefully this thing will seal up real well. 
Okay, so this is uh, this is it. This is the very last stages of it. This is uh, the display. I have it in the clamps. Um, it's clamped down pretty pretty good. Not hard enough to to crack anything. Um, so I'm just gonna let it sit like this for about 24 hours. Uh, let that silicon dry real good, and uh, hopefully from there that should be good. Um. And it should fit back into the ski with no problems at all. The edges are still a little wavy and rough from the heat gun, but that's okay. Um, because this surface right here is still really, really flat. And I think it's going to sit pretty flush up in the console pretty well. Um, so, there you go, guys. Uh Alright, got it started here. Looks like the RPMs is working. Everything seems to be fine. It's just, uh, it's easier to see at some angles than the other. Oh well. What I'll do is, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take some silicon, seal this up, and I'm gonna take my heat gun, I'm gonna bend these edges all back nice and neat, and get it all back to the way it was. I'm, I'm happy with it. I'm gonna go ahead and stick it in the uh, center console.